Okay, in this video, we're going to calculate uh, total fixed costs, average fixed costs, average variable costs, and average total cost. Given when we have total variable cost and total cost, let's start off with total fixed cost. But first, definitions. What is fixed cost? Fixed cost essentially is the cost that do not change with changes in the level of output. In other words, they're independent of the level of output. You have to pay them whether you're producing nothing or 300 units or a million units. Doesn't make any difference. So we don't seem to have that, do we? But we have the variable cost and the total cost. It makes sense that total variable cost is zero when you're producing nothing because you're not producing anything, so you don't incur any variable expenses. But look at this, we still have $100 worth of total cost. Well, that must be the part that's explained by the fixed cost. So that means we can easily go right on over here and actually uh, write in a figure for the uh, total fixed cost, right? And that would be $100. And in fact, that would be $100 every step of the way at all output levels. Now, so as not to be annoying, I'm just going to draw a blue line so that you know that those figures are being repeated throughout this entire column. Now, <clears throat> what about average fixed cost? Well, what is that? Well, that's just total fixed cost divided by output. Now, of course, if you take 100 and divide it by zero, that's undefined. So that's the reason why we have these dashed lines. In fact, we've done the same thing for these other averages because average variable cost would be total variable cost divided by quantity. That would be zero divided by zero, and that's for sure undefined. And then, of course, average total cost is 100 divided by zero, and that's undefined. So we're going to leave all those with dashes in them. We're not going to write zero because zero doesn't mean anything. It's undefined. Now, what about average fixed cost for the first 110 units? Well, that's just going to be 100 dollars, as we said, divided by 110. And that's about 91 cents. So let's go ahead and just fill that in right there in that table. So we know we can take care of that one and check that off. The next one's going to be 100 divided by 200. That's pretty easy. That's going to be 50 cents. So let's type that one in. We know we have 50 cents. And then we've got 100 divided by 270. Well, I'll put that in the calculator now. 100 divided by 270, and that's 37 cents. So we'll type 37 cents for that figure. Right, so far, so good. And now 100 divided by 300, and that is going to be 33 cents. So we'll write that figure there, 33 cents. And then 100 divided by 320, and that gives us 31.25 cents. And just to make it clear that the numbers are still going down, I'm going to write that out to that third digit there so it's clear that the figure is still continuing to fall. And then lastly, it's 100 divided by 330. So what is 100 divided by 330? Well, that is 30.3 cents. And I'll go ahead and mark that one off as well. 30.3 cents, All right? So now we've got the average fixed cost, and what do we notice? It's declining throughout. That makes sense, because the number in the numerator is staying the same, but the quantity keeps going up, all right? Now let's take the average variable cost, at least according to the data that we have here. Well, that's just total variable cost divided by Q. So we've got 135 divided by 110. So let's put that in the calculator, 135 divided by 110. That's $1.23. And so we'll go ahead and mark that in that table there. Type in $1.23. And then it's 260 divided by 200. Divided by 200, and that is $1.30. So we'll type that one in as $1.30. And then it's 370 divided by 270. And that is $1.37. So we'll type that figure in. 
And then we've got 470 divided by 300. And that equals to $1.56. Let's type that figure in there. And then 560 divided by 320. And that figure is $1.75. And we'll type that figure in there. $1.75. And then lastly, we have the 645 divided by 330. And that gets us $1.95. And so that'll be the last one that I'm going to type in. All right. All right. Now, we've got one more column to complete. And there's actually two ways to doing it, two ways of doing this, the hard way and the easy way. The hard way is to take total cost and divide it by Q, but we don't really need to do that. All we need to do is add average fixed cost and average variable cost, and that gets you average total cost. So this is going to be pretty easy. A dollar twenty-three adding on ninety-one cents to that. And that gets us a dollar, I'm sorry, a dollar 23 plus 91 cents. And that gets us $2.14. And we'll go ahead and type that in there. And by the way, just to convince you of this, if I had taken 235 and just divided it by 110, I'm going to get the same answer. I do. I get. 2.136, and if you round that off, you get $2.14. So let's continue on with the rest of the calculation. 50 cents and $1.30, well, that's pretty easy. That's going to be a buck 80. And then a dollar 37 and 37 cents, that's going to be a dollar 74. So let's type in that one. And then a buck 56 and 33 cents, that's going to be a dollar 89. And then 31 cents, we'll go ahead and round that down to 31 cents. 31 cents and a dollar 75. And that's going to be equal to two dollars and six cents. So we'll write that in, that figure there, two dollars and six cents. And then lastly, we've got 30 cents. I'm just going to round that to 30 cents. 30 cents and the dollar 95. And that's going to give us $2.25. So what do you notice is happening here? Well, the average total cost is declining, but it eventually bottoms out. And then it starts rising again, all right? So it's kind of U-shaped. Average variable cost is also uh, U-shaped, but we just don't see it here because it happens later you know, with higher levels of production. In any event, that's how you figure out, fill out these tables. It's not very difficult. This is a little time consuming because it's a bigger table, but I wanted to, you to have your chance, for you to have the chance to get your hands dirty to see how this is done. In any event, that's the end of this mini video. And until next time, take care and best wishes.